A small company owner contacted me and he told me that there is a conveyor belt in his company and to start this conveyor belt start push button is used and to stop this conveyor belt stop push button has to be used in addition to this two types of boxes will be placed on top of the conveyor belt which will be shifted from one place to another one is a small box and the other will be a big box now he also told me that on top of the conveyor belt if small box goes then blue light should blow and if bigger box goes on top of the same conveyor belt then the yellow light should blow in this condition so according to the working of this conveyor belt he told me to make a whole panel now to make that panel i told him to put two limit switches along with the conveyor belt one limit switch should be placed on the lower side and the other limit switch should be placed on the upper side by using that limit switch you can easily make the lamp glow now along with making the lamp glow if you want to run the conveyor belt then how to make the entire circuit i explained him in detail now to run the conveyor belt a motor will be used to provide power supply to the motor i told him to use a contactor and the wiring of the contactor will be done in this way now to start and stop this contactor i told him to make a control circuit diagram what he had to do in this control circuit diagram was he had to take the phase supply and connect it directly to the stop push button and from the stop push button he had to take the power supply and connect it to the start push button now from output terminal of start push button connect a wire and connect this with a1 terminal of the contactor after this i told him to provide the neutral power supply to a2 terminal of the contactor directly after doing this much work you can start the conveyor belt by pressing the start button but as soon as the start push button is released the conveyor belt will stop i also told him this so as soon as i told him this he told me that by pressing the start push button only once the motor should be running and by pressing the stop button once it should get turn off tell me such a connection so i told him that connect the ano contact of the contactor to the parallel of the start push button parallel means looping a wire from the input terminal of the start push button to connect it to the ano contact of the contactor and from the output of the start push button you have to take a wire and connect it to the output of the ano contact i told him to make a connection in this way after doing the connection in this way when he pressed the start push button the motor started that is the conveyor belt started and to turn off the conveyor belt he pressed the stop push button so the conveyor belt turned off now he said that so much work has been done tell me the circuit ahead of it that is tell me the connection to make the lamp glow according to the box which moves on top of the conveyor belt he requested me this so i told him that two limit switch you have to provide power supply to these two limit switches near you take the power supply from the output terminal of the start push button here and connect it to both the limit switches in this way that is the phase supply will go from here to this limit switch and from here only power supply will go to this limit switch also now after making this much connection i told him that take the power supply through the down limit switch and do the connection directly with the blue light in this way after this i told him that take a wire from the output terminal of the upper limit switch and second light here that is provide phase supply to the yellow light and to make both the lamps glow you also need a neutral power supply so you can provide a neutral power supply directly so in this way i told him the connection after telling him the connection i told him to run it once and check it so after the company owner did the wiring he pressed the start button so he saw that the conveyor belt started after this he noticed that when the box is going on the conveyor belt the small box then the lower limit switch is being operated from the small box due to which the blue light is glowing and as soon as the box is going from there the light is turning off after this he told me that if the big box goes then both the limit switches are operating together and both the lights are glowing at the same time which is wrong he just wants that if the big box goes then only yellow light should glow the blue light should not glow so how did i solve this problem that was coming at that time let me tell you too so to solve this problem i told him that simply use a small relay and after bringing the relay you have to connect it in parallel to yellow light that is by looping a wire from the same phase supply which is going to the light and to operate the relay provide the neutral power supply directly and after doing this much connection i told him that down limit switch here remove this wire of limit switch from here 
and after removing it, I told him that from output terminal of down limit switch connect a wire and provide the incoming power supply to the NC contact of the relay through the down limit switch. And by taking the power supply from the output terminal of the NC contact to connect it with the blue light, that is, I told him to use the NC contact of the relay in the middle of the wiring. After making so many changes, I showed him how automatically entire circuit runs. I told him that if he presses the start push button, his motor will start. Now by starting the motor, the conveyor belt will also start. Now if the conveyor belt starts running and if a small box goes on the conveyor belt, then in this condition, the down limit switch will operate. And by operating it, only the blue light will glow, which was working like this before. Now after this, I told him that if the small box moves away from the limit switch, then this light will turn off. Now after this, I told him that when the big box comes, the upper limit switch will operate. At the same time, the down limit switch will also operate. But only this yellow light will glow. This will happen because the NC contact of the relay here, this NC contact is breaking the power supply of the blue circuit. So by breaking the power supply of the blue circuit, only his yellow light will glow when the big box goes. Now after this, his limit switch will move away, which means it will reset. After resetting, no light will glow. Friends, I hope you liked today's video. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.